Hi, welcome to Andrew Buckle book review of The Hooded Gunman. I absolutely love these sort of volumes. I've got quite a few. They're absolutely brilliant. An illustrated history of Collins Crime Club, John Curran. I mean, this is absolutely stunning. Uh, you can see there. And on the back, you've got like even more. I mean, it's just, wow, 400 pages. This book came out in 2019, and it's absolutely solid. Let's go for it. It is amazing. All the way from 1930s, the history of Collins. It's also got Aussie photos, star, the key su success. Obviously, some of the earlier books there. And the Detective Story Club. So you've got lots of details there. Well, there's Crime Club titles. I love all those adverts. Actually, I'm surprised they didn't put more pictures of adverts and things. They're always fascinating to look at. And all the way, 1930s. There you've got the Bowery murder. So you can see all the details there. It gives a lot of... Absolutely lots of details there. The murder at the vicarage. And now it doesn't actually just gives that. And then, of course, you've got some of the others. It doesn't give any details at all. But that's at the back. So you go to the back, you can see full listings. I mean, it's just an impressive listing. I mean, look at those lovely green. Green sometimes means very popular. Crime and green, for some weird reason, seems to go together. Murder, oh, mystery at the rectory there. A fielding. Now, I don't know which ones are super, super dark collectible which ones are the top books no idea murder by experts belt of suspicion and there's some great titles all the way through this you've got here a, a capital crime all thing now some are very small some are obviously quite big and up the gun and you can also see obviously sometimes they include not all you can actually see there which is really quite nice the way they've done it like i say they're not all done in that style would be nice if they'd all been done exactly the same way as so they put the photo so you could see the edge as well. That would have been the spine. That would have been great, wouldn't it? Nine days murder. And then we go into 1950s, 1940. You can see the change in style as well. I just think death of Miss X, Agatha Christie, Mrs. McGinty's dead. Is she? I don't know. But pictures, picture of death. Who's that by? E.C. Lorak, The Crime Club. And so that's all the way into 1956. And you can, the artwork as well. I love that style, the late 50s art style, this sort of style. That one there, the Ferguson Affair. Love that type of design. Ross MacDonald, love his works. Absolutely stony Ross MacDonald's in here as well. Now there's a really brilliant book, Ross MacDonald one, real super thick. That's really worth checking out with all the covers of all his works. I love that book. And I love that as well, the basic illustration ones. I'm not so keen on photos. When the photos came, I mean, I'm not saying I don't like the covers of the, those ones. I mean, obviously the stories are just the same, just as good. But it's just sometimes the ones, I just prefer the illustrations. And of course, those sort of things have sort of faded away. Everyone's gone obviously for these sort of uh, covers now, like a picture of a key or something, or pictures of like apples, those sort of things. Dangerous to know, or last voyage. They really sort of faded away that uh, illustrated or painted ones. A necessary end. And this is obviously going into the 1985s, 1990s. And you can see, obviously, there, the covers there. Just stunning. Again, more green. Green is very popular. But the white circle. And then you've got Scott, a crime novel competition as well. And this is the really amazing, complete list. I assume it's fairly complete anyway. List of all the books. So you just go through it. It's obviously by author. And you've got, like, Armstrong Vivian. The Honey Trap, you've got Sleight slight of Hand, and obviously that's it. And you've got others ones with lots and lots, giving the details of the date, and also the actual plot, which is really quite... doesn't actually say who the murderer was. That would be... It gives you obviously a bit of a blur. Who was the father of the unborn child, etc., etc. No, it doesn't give any spoilers away in that respect, which is good. The Pale Horse. Oh, of course, that must be... Yeah. A certain well-known author. Right, and that's, like I say, page after page. Now, they don't actually put any pictures. That would have been nice. I don't know why they didn't put a picture of all the authors. Maybe there weren't no pictures of some of these authors. Maybe that's the reason. Like Jessica Mann. No, no picture of it at all. Now, maybe they didn't have one. But it would have been nice to have had just pictures, photos of each of the authors. But the thing is, I really like about this at the back, you've got short story collections, which is really nice, sort of like a collection there. Gives details of obviously all the ones that are in the books. Duplicate titles, a broad in crime, and also topics. 
which I think is great. Now, I don't know if every single book is covered in this, but it's actually got a breakdown here of like academia, obviously universities and those sort of things, Christmas. I'm surprised, not many books about Christmas. Film, TV, historical, Ireland. How many crime stories are set on Ireland? Quite a lot, seems here. Candles are out, Murder in the Sun, the ninth candle, Bahamas murder miss case, legal, strange enough. Also, uh, theatre, opera and ballet, quite a lot there. Transport, ships, planes and trains. That sounds like a song. And writers, strange enough. No science fiction ones. Why are there no science fiction slash murder ones? You'd think that that would be like murder on the moon, murder on, what's his name, murder on Mars, murder on a sh place, you know, spacecraft, or something like that. Or alien murders, those sort of things. But you've also got uh, white circle paperbacks, select reference, and many other index of authors at the back. This is an impressive book. I absolutely love these ones. And this one is very good. I wish that, of course, every single company, all the various book publishers over the years, they would bring out these sort of volumes. And it would be just amazing just to see all those. But sadly, they haven't. But this one is great to get. Collins Crime Club. I don't know if it's still readily available. I assume it is. I assume it's easy to pick up. I hope it is. So, uh, yeah, I absolutely love it. This is a brilliant. Now, it should, of course, encourage me to go and buy more books and paperbacks. And I'm slightly disappointed I didn't go to the paperback one pulp fair at uh, over the Holiday Inn in London last week. There's the trains I didn't get up to there. And I would have loved to have gone to it. I've just watched a YouTube video showing all the books. And I imagine lots of, the sort of these sort of things were you could find these sort of books there. Now, they do turn up in places like Oxfam, obviously online, you can find on eBay, I'm certain that they do turn up. But I imagine some of the really early ones, 1930s, 1940s, probably are quite expensive, probably quite hard to find. But even those do occasionally turn up. I have had over the years, sort of like very early 1940s, 1950s, those sort of period books, and I just love those. They're just great. So, this one, The Hooded Gunman, absolutely brilliant by John Curran, really worth checking out.